Welcome once again to St Lawrence Jury on this Trinity Sunday. It is always my pleasure to be in touch with you and to uh, offer a few thoughts each week for us as we move forwards in this current situation. Last night you may have seen on the news that uh, there was potentially an announcement that lockdown will be eased for our churches. That of course uh, was in reality an announcement that there will be an announcement next Tuesday, so we'll have to wait and see in detail, but generally speaking of course the reality is that we are going to be asked to open our churches in small and careful steps and it would be all too easy for us to hear this announcement and to think that it's all over. It isn't. Dare I say it's not over till the fat vicar sings. So we move into new stages in this period of lockdown, the gentle easing and the questions that that brings are actually different from the uncertainties of the past. While we were in the tightest of lockdowns, many of us experienced different forms of anxiety and uncertainty. But the unlocking brings a new set of anxieties. Will I be okay? Will I be asked to go back to work? Will it be safe to travel? Should I wear face masks uh, for us around here in the city? Will all the homeless who have been put into hotels and shelters be back on the streets? And what will that mean for us as churches? What will look? What will life look like in this new future? One of our Bible readings for the Trinity Sunday is from 2 Corinthians chapter 13. It's the end of what we call 2 Corinthians. If you know your Bible really well, you might know that some people suggest that it's the end of a third letter, that uh, actually the two books of Corinthians probably work out to be two different, uh, three different letters uh, tacked together into two in our Bible. That's a story for another day. Right at the end of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 in verse 11, St Paul writes this. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Just as the easing of lockdown begins, what an amazing sentence for us to have in our Bible reading. Strive for full restoration. We have no idea what that restoration might look like, but we are moving towards a new phase and we need to look at this advice in this tiny verse at the end of St Paul's letter. It contains a number of other injunctions to us. First, encourage one another. One of the things that's happened during lockdown is that there has been an increased sense of people encouraging one another. That might involve caring for a neighbour, looking after our family from a distance, or dropping off shopping and running to the gate for a conversation. It might mean being more grateful than we have been in the past for our key workers and those who have kept life on the road during this time of closed down and uncertainty. And that's a lesson that we ought to take to heart and allow ourselves to go on being people who encourage one another. Then St Paul says, be of one mind. There is a definite sense in which the lockdown has drawn people together. We need to hold on to that. We need to be of one mind, not only as churches and as Christians, but actually with our neighbours and those that we care for, our families and friends. Be of one mind. And he then goes on to say, and live in peace. One of the things about this entire crisis 
has been to remind each and every one of us of the deeper and greater things of life, to have peace with ourselves, with God and with one another is of great importance. Just at the moment there is a lot going on over the uh, Black Lives Matter campaign. It reminds us that diversity and in all its various forms and of course the need for us to care for those who feel oppressed or hard done by in our society is really important and we need to not lose sight of that in any way. And then he concludes, may the God of peace be with you. My prayer for you today is that whatever your uncertainties about the future, whatever it is that you are not quite clear about, that you are anxious about, that God will be with you, granting you his love and his peace in your life, today and forever. Amen.